How to clearly explain your expectations. Always document your expectations. He carefully sculptured a plan and delegated responsibilities. He knew which tasks to assign to those around him. This greatly decreased their stress. Solomon wrote his expectations to Hiram, king of Tyre, in 1 Kings 5 verse 6. Now therefore command thou, that they hew me cedar trees out of Lebanon, and my servants shall be with thy servants, and unto thee will I give hire for thy servants according to all that thou shalt appoint. For thou knowest, that there is not among us any that can skill to hew timber like unto the Sidonians. Do those around you truly understand your expectations of them? Do they have before them a written contract or job description that makes it easy for them to stay focused? Is it in writing? Verbal instructions can be distorted, misinterpreted, and forgotten. It is clear from the ancient writings that Solomon documented with great precision exactly what he wanted others to do. This process removed doubt and uncertainty. It released them to abandon themselves to their assignment. Can I have your attention for a few seconds? Before we delve deep into today's personal development video, please help us spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ by supporting our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash you will instantly gain access to over 180 Christian videos, and over 400 videos about billionaire biographies, and over 140 personal development videos, and over 450 verse and quotes images among other goodies. If you are watching this video, and you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior I'll help you do that right now, because it is for this very purpose that we create these videos. Giving your life to the Lord is the best decision you can ever make in your entire life on earth. I invite you to make Jesus your Lord today. In Romans 10 verse 9 the Bible says that, If thou confess with thy mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Please, pray this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe with all of my heart that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died on the cross, and that on the third day God raised him from the dead. I believe that Jesus is the Lord of my life from this day onward. I'm now born again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Well done for making this prayer. You are now born again. Attend a Bible-based church and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and support us on Patreon to keep learning the truth of God's word as you become an excellent Christian every day. Our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash link is also in the description. Let's continue with our today's personal development topic. Recently, I discussed this in great detail with a wonderful and competent man. He was brilliant. His desk was orderly, but those around him seemed very flustered, which bewildered and puzzled him. As we began to talk, I made some interesting discoveries. He really expected others to read his mind. He expected others to have his energy. He was unaware of the continuous distractions and interruptions his staff experienced on a daily basis. He had withdrawn from the public flow of traffic and people and left his staff to face them for him. He had become detached, alienated, and distant. In his own little world, he was king. However, all those around him were in confusion because he had not given precise instructions regarding his expectations and the deadlines he had imposed. I consider dictation to be one of the master secrets to uncommon achievement. You can talk six times faster than you can write. I travel a lot. So it became commonplace for me to give verbal instructions by phone on a daily basis. I soon became frustrated because I would return from trips to find that many of the assignments I had given my staff had not been completed on time and in an ineffective manner. When I began to dictate instructions and provide my staff with a typed list of my personal expectations, the percentage of completed tasks was astounding. Why? Because I was providing a clear-cut job description. They could look and analyze. They could ask questions. They could review and retrieve information. I believe this explains the disorganized and stressful home life of many families. It is rare to walk into a teenager's room and see a written list of instructions on the bulletin board. Mom is screaming at the top of her voice to the other end of the house. Dad sits by the fireplace, staring vacantly at a newspaper trying to shut out the turmoil. In many cases, clearly defined chores would remove a lot of the stress instantly. It is the uncertainty and lack of understanding that cause us to misjudge and misinterpret each other. I walked through a huge plant several years ago in Pennsylvania. The wealthy owner was a short, abrupt, and energetic man. When I asked the secret of his success, his son spoke up. Daddy always says to make something so simple that the biggest dummy in the world can understand it. This man spelled out everything. Every bulletin board had big bold simple explanations of laws and rules and expectations. No small print. No legalese. He made it easy for others to understand his expectations. Invest in a special meeting with those around you. Ask them questions and make certain that they understand beyond a shadow of a doubt what their daily tasks are to be. What their weekly tasks are to be. What monthly reports they are responsible for. Write it out so clearly that it can never be doubted or refused again. If there is one thing I have discovered, it is the profound and consistent ability of those around you to misinterpret and forget everything you have said to them. 
I cannot recall a week that I have not had to repeat something over and over again that has been established for years. People must see your expectations in writing. People must keep seeing your expectations in writing. People must be reminded to keep looking at the paper. Never underestimate the ability of the human mind to forget. Never. Why doesn't everyone document, delegate, and follow through on the tasks they give to others? Because it is time consuming and exhausting. It slows you down and keeps you from those things that excite you more. When you take the time to help others fully understand their roles and the rewards for completing those tasks, however, your own life will leap forward exhilarated and enthused. Who do you want to bring you lunch? Every day. At what time? What are the top 10 lunches on the menu that you have approved? Donald Trump has one person whose sole function is to keep his life organized. Who have you given that responsibility to? Who approves the purchase orders in your office? What are the criteria and guidelines for approving them? Who is responsible for the vehicle maintenance of your home? What is the schedule for consistent trips to the garage? Solomon assumed nothing. He communicated constantly. He communicated publicly. He documented his desires. Solomon clearly explained to others his expectations of them. Can you please do us a favor? If you have been blessed by this video, please leave a comment, like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel, and invite at least 200 plus souls, it could be family and friends, to visit this Kafif YouTube channel, so that they may hear the gospel of our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and be born again. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and support us on Patreon, our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash link is also in the description. Thank you and God bless you.